Taiwan strategy so far against the coronavirus has won global recognition for its speed and effectiveness. Last week, about a dozen Taiwanese doctors took a conference call from 100 physicians overseas. During the 90-minute video call, doctors from Linko's Tanggang Memorial Hospital described their methods for managing infectious spread within the hospital. The call was arranged by the Medical Women's International Association, which represents women in the medical field across the globe. We are looking forward to listening to you. Thank you again. As COVID-19 continues to spread around the world, Taiwan's coronavirus strategies have been recognized globally. Public health scholars have praised Taiwan for responding quickly and effectively to the crisis. The Medical Women's International Association reached out to Taiwan's Linko Chang'an Memorial Hospital, requesting a video conference so that they can learn about Taiwan's hospital's response to COVID-19. Just a wonderful opportunity for me to be able to be with you and to learn uh, about uh, your system in Taiwan. During the 90-minute video conference, nearly 10 physicians shared the measures taken at Lincoln Chang'an Memorial Hospital since the outbreak began. The hospital has strived to reduce transmission risk by restricting patient movement as they enter the hospital. We do a triage at every entry of our hospital. In order to do a detailed triage, we reduced our hospital entrance from 17 to 5. At each entrance, we set up an infrared thermal camera to scan the temperature of every visitors. At the triage, if anyone with the fever or respiratory symptom or any travel history to the epidemic area, uh, he will not be allowed to enter the hospital. We will direct them to the epidemic clinic or the ER outdoor quarantine, quarantine station based on their symptoms. The hospital has created separate treatment areas, including a red ward for high-risk patients. If the patient meets the criteria, we will transfer them to the isolation ward and test for the COVID-19 PCR immediately. If the patient did not meet the criteria, but it may have some atypical presentations, we will transfer them to the quarantine ward. Doctors from the U.S. and Canada asked how Taiwan was approaching coronavirus testing. Tangan Vice Chairman Chou Zhenxuan said that the national health insurance system provides free testing to suspect cases. Our government, you know, launched some guidelines to all the hospitals to, you know, the case definition, especially the suspected case definition. And then for those people at high risk for the infection, then we, we can test. So we don't do uh, universal testing. According to Taiwan CDC, people with a recent travel history can get tested if they present with a fever or respiratory symptoms. During the conference call, Taiwan doctors said they've seen the emergence of diarrhea and vomiting as a coronavirus symptom. A lot of GI symptoms with your COVID-19 positive patients. Uh, GI uh, presentation, I think that's quite common. In our hospital, we have cared for more than uh, 10 patients, I think at least one third or half of them have some problems of uh, uh, presented uh, GI manifestations like uh, diarrhea or vomiting in the beginning. What are the medications which you use as protocol in treating these patients? U.S. doctors asked what the doctors were using to treat the coronavirus patients. There is no specific uh, treatment strategy uh, because we we have no remdesivir, like but we can use hydroxychloroquine or azithromycin to treat such patients. But the outcome is not so uh, wonderful. I think the most important is uh, to settle down their uh, respiratory support system. Whether it is through sharing knowledge or donating masks to countries in need, Taiwan hopes to work with the international community to halt the spread of COVID-19. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Chen Xinyu in Taipei.